Wahoo Bishop Newman head coach Tim Turman was pleased with his team's overall performance in 2015, going 8-3 and three and making it to the second round of the state playoffs. Well, you know, I, I was really proud of our team this year just in the way that uh, we competed, number one, and in the way that we improved from, uh, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. I thought we became a very solid team. Uh, we got spanked pretty good by SCOTUS uh, in the regular season. And uh, that, I think, maybe, you know, made us realize that we've got, we've got some, some improving to do and somewhere to go. So uh, I think uh, as closing out the season, that really helped us focus in on, on uh, getting better during the season. Quarterback Noah Vedral put together an outstanding junior season in his second year as the starter, passing for more than 1,500 yards and running for over 800 yards with 25 total touchdowns. So looking back on my last, my junior year, um, it was definitely a learning year. Definitely, a, I mean, my sophomore year, obviously, I learned a ton. Junior year, just the same. Uh, as far as learning the system here, I've got it down 100%. And being a small school, we run the option, so definitely been classic classified as a dual threat quarterback more often than not and that's great for me but the things I've worked on personally over the last year have been um, definitely improving my kind of the pro style areas of things. One of my proudest things that I've worked on as a quarterback is my accuracy so that's definitely something I've improved on greatly in the last two years. Well you know he's, he's uh, got a lot of ability in, the, in, in his, his capabilities of running the offense, making the reads, making the quick decisions He's very explosive from, from stop to go, you know, in that first four or five steps, very explosive. I think that showed up in our playoff game against Ogallala when he took the opening play, you know, 90-some yards for a touchdown and just, just uh, beat a couple linebackers there. So, so he's, he's got that ability. He reads the ball real well. And then he's, his uh, throwing has really become, uh, he's pretty accurate with his throwing. So. But the biggest improvement the six foot two, 185 pound prospect made was probably his footwork. Oh, footwork's been big. Um, I've been working on footwork um, since I was 12, 13 years old with quarterback coaches and going to camps. Um, big focus last two years on five and seven step drops and making downfield throws, downfield progressions uh, with those drops. Um, definitely worked a lot on those. Um, with the coaches I've gone to in KC, California, all those coaches. Um, that's been a big, huge point of emphasis for me. Well, you know, I think he mentioned his footwork, you know, but he's working on that all the time, uh, you know, so that, that'll improve. I think that'll just come naturally with as much work as he puts in, you know, and that's, that's uh, the thing, you know, when you get those kind of kids that are willing to put in a lot of those extra time, you know, and that's the thing about our team. We have a lot of, a lot of, t a lot of players on our team that are willing to spend time out on the practice field that nobody knows about. You know, they're out there, Noah's calling them up, saying, let's go throw, and, and he's getting those kids. And those are, the, those are the kind of teams that you really know have a chance to do well is when they're willing to spend their own time, you know, and come in on their own and, and get better. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Noah plans to attend several camps again this spring and over the summer, and he knows college coaches will be watching closely. And that's a big thing for me is proving um, I've been classified as a dual threat, which is absolutely fine. I know my escapability, my mobility, um, the speed and athleticism definitely fits in that category of a quarterback. Um, but definitely one thing I want to show off is my ability to work in a pro-style offense because I know there are a lot of schools that are pro-style offense where they want a pocket passer who can sit in there, make the tough throws. And being in a school, just our offense, just that's not what we do. We're an option. We're fast based, move it, run it, throw it, do it all. Um, so definitely that's one thing I want to showcase this summer and to these schools that that is something that I'm capable of doing and doing very well. Nebraska offensive coordinator Danny Langsdorf recently paid Noah a visit watching him play a basketball game from the stands. Oh, it was, it was exciting. It was really encouraging too to know that I'm on their radar that, I mean, he took the time that night to come out, watch us play a basketball game. Um, really great basketball game with that too. Um, but it's definitely encouraging and it's really cool. I mean, I met with Coach Langsdorf um, right away when he got here because I know we had been in touch with them when they were at Oregon State. And I got to go in and talk to him in an unofficial meeting or right away, a couple months, a couple weeks after he got here. Moving forward, Bishop Newman seems to have all the pieces in place to make a run for a Class C1 state championship in 2016. I think we're very close. I mean, I know there's probably a lot more political correctness in saying we just want to compete, but honestly our goal next year is to win and win a lot. Um, do the best we can, make, us, make it as deep, and I mean my goal personally is to be playing for it all. So 
I think we're right there. I know we are. My teammates and I, we've been waiting. I mean, we've been basically waiting our turn, even though, I mean, last year didn't end the way we wanted to, and we knew we had a shot at getting there. It just didn't end the way we wanted to. So we're, we're knocking on the door right now, I feel. Well, the schedule, the schedule turned out to be really tough for us. It's a good schedule. I think we've got to compete well. We're going to have to play well every week. And, uh, you know, the thing about our team returning is we do have uh, the juniors that were there last year, and a big part of our statistical part of the game are all those guys are back. Uh, so that'll help us. But what I'm really excited about is we're going to have, uh, you know, 55 to 60 kids out, and we're going to have some linemen. I mean, I, I think we could average over 200, you know, maybe 210, 215 in the line next year, which is something we haven't done. We've been, you know, always, always trying to hide those 165-pound guards in there, you know, and, and uh, against the competition you play, sometimes that shows up. So uh, I'm really excited about our linemen. Reporting from Wahoo Bishop Newman High School for HuskerOnline.com, I'm Greg Peterson.